Super Mario Land 2 Six Golden Coins is a classic Game Boy game, and the any percent run at under three minutes is very unique. It's not quite arbitrary code execution, but more memory manipulation as you fall through the floor through a visual representation of the game's memory and find a single block to break to summon the credits. In order to run the any percent category, you need a version 1.0 copy of the game. Physical cartridges can be identified by the imprint on the bottom right of the label. You're looking for just numbers, no letter at the end. You can play on the BGB emulator with a version 1.0 ROM. BGB is the only emulator that emulates the memory correctly. Before starting a run, you must ensure that all files are empty. You cannot have any saved data on any file, otherwise it affects the memory. At the beginning of Mushroom House, you can attempt a corner boost after the first two blocks. Then, you're going to jump immediately to hit the turtle, grab the shell, and then continue running. When you reach the two rows of blocks, jump onto the bottom row. At the end, you're going to jump, turn, throw the shell, land onto the pipe, and try to enter the pipe on the same frame that you are hit by the shell. If successful, you will hear the sound of dying and the sound of entering the pipe simultaneously. Immediately re-enter the level and you will start to fall through the floor. Hold left when you start the level. And once you see the exit, start to hold right and scrape against the wall to finish the level. After Mushroom House, we move left and up on the overworld to access Macro Zone. In Macro Zone 1, jump over the ant, go down the stairs, and stand on the pipe. You need to time entering the pipe to be the same frame you are hit by the boulder. As before, if you are successful, you will hear the death sound and the pipe sound simultaneously. Rather than re-enter the level, exit Macro Zone, go to the right, over to Pumpkin Zone, and enter Pumpkin Zone 1. As you enter Pumpkin Zone 1, you will fall through the floor. Be sure to not be pressing the control pad during your fall until the timer reaches 493. Then you will hold right, once you land, jump, and when you start to descend, move left. You should land on a tile where the level clear tile is. Sometimes, if you move left too early, you may clear the level, but it will technically be the secret exit tile, so it will not count for completion, which we need. You will know you are successful if the level on the overworld changes from white to black with a white dot. Re-enter Pumpkin Zone 1. Go forward, jump into the block, and hold jump so you bounce off of the enemy and obtain the mushroom. You want to land on the pipe, enter it, and immediately press Start Select to exit the level. When you re-enter Pumpkin Zone 1 again, you will fall through the floor. Hold right until you hit a wall. Then, as the floor disappears off screen above, start to hold right to fall into the top layer of the memory. The top layer of memory is OAM, and among other things, it has sprite data. So anything you do with Mario will change that top layer. My suggestion is to run and continually spam jump to try to run and jump as much as possible. After running for a while, you'll see a pipe on the second row that you must enter. In order to do so, you need to jump on top of the pipe without holding any direction on the controller pad as you land. Then, after landing, press down to enter the pipe. You can enter too far to the right and get stuck, so be careful. Once through the pipe, hold down to get moved along a conveyor tile, and then fall further down. Then, move right and hold down to do the same thing, this time entering a pipe. When you reach a row that has blocks on every other tile, move left and go across two of the blocks then fall straight down. After landing, run to the left. You'll be stopped by a black tile that's a wall. And then move a little bit more left and press down to enter the pipe you fall on. You can't enter this pipe in the middle, and if you enter too far to the right, you'll get stuck. The pixel window for this pipe is only a few pixels wide. After exiting the pipe, run to the right along the brick tiles until you reach a pipe and a question mark block with a blank tile between them. Hold down and scroll the screen as much as you can. 
the pipe has a one tile clearance above it. In order to get on top of the pipe, you need to run and slide. Then, you need to let go of down and pause on subsequent frames, then holding down unpause in order to enter the pipe. There is only one pixel where this is possible, and if you slide too far to the right, you will be stuck and have to exit the level. There is a setup to minimize this happening, and it involves getting Mario's foot diagonal to the question mark on the question mark block. It is possible, however, due to the way Mario's speed oscillates, to still go one pixel too far and get stuck. If you are successful, the right edge of Mario's foot will be above the single line in the middle of the pipe. Next, let go of down and press start on subsequent frames. Then, press down, unpause, and start holding B and down as you go through the pipe. If you are not fast enough in letting going down and pressing start, you'll slide to the left and can reattempt getting onto the pipe. Your inputs are very important as you go down the pipe. Once you reach three brick tiles in a row, let go of down. Then, when the screen starts to stutter as you do a pipe transition, start holding up. Precise timing of inputs during this pipe can affect how far you go down the pipe and how far you fall after you exit the pipe. Nothing here is consistent. Continue to move down and slightly to the right as you try to reach a row of ground tiles. If you get stuck at any point, try to jump and hold up to make the screen scroll down. After the ground tiles, you will start a long descent. You'll get pushed right twice. After the second one, move to the left one tile and continue to fall. Eventually you'll hit a section four rows high with blocks scattered everywhere. Keep pressing down to break through these blocks and get down to the floor. Do not press down after you get past that last layer of blocks. Now you are on the floor where static RAM is located. You will want to continue to the right until the screen has scrolled on three separate occasions. There are several places where there are holes in the ground where tiles appear to be. My suggestion is to only jump when you encounter a water tile or when you need to scroll the screen to the right. If you reach the edge of the screen and it has difficulty scrolling, jump and once you hit the ground hold down. Be careful not to hold down until you hit the ground, otherwise you will break blocks and potentially fall into the floor. Once the screen is scrolled three times, you're looking for two pipes on the third row with six tiles in between. You want to break the third block from the left pipe. Immediately after breaking the block, press Start Select to exit the level and press A to re-enter the level. However, the credits will start playing.